Hey well guys, welcome back guys to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you, share you and demonstrate you extremely powerful strategy which will allow you to scalp between 20 to 50 pips per trade using this very very easy to use trading technique and trading strategy. So guys, this is my USD CAD trade. Uh, I'm making currently around 1500 euro profit. Well, it's not, you know, I, I need to close it anytime soon, guys, because USD CAD right here, right now is touching what? Look at this, guys. So what do we see? It's touching a very, very important daily support, you see. And what's going to happen now? The price probably going to, you know, test this and go bounce back up, up to 1.30 to 3.57. However, guys, please watch this video because I'm going to show you how you can use this very easy to use scalping strategy okay and which can help you to in a to get 20 to 50 pips per day but by using bollinger bands and exponential moving average 200 it's just the two indicators two simply easy to use indicators let me just go back to that usd cat trade i wanted to close this trade already you know when i made previous so see guys the, so the, the trade goes my way and i still you know i still wonder you know i still i'm, I'm still gonna wait for this trade you know to see what, how it's gonna bounce because it looks like that USD CAD is breaking, you know. It looks like USD CAD broke uh, broke uh, the support on the daily, guys. If there, if if the currency or if the asset you trade is breaking daily support, well, it means that the price could go even lower. So I'm gonna leave this trade open. So here we go. I made like hundred euro just in one minute since I started this video. Uh, however, guys, let's talk about this strategy, guys. This strategy is so great that some academy members from my academy actually reported 85 to 90 percent, you know, winning ratio with this strategy. Of course, guys, it doesn't mean that you can use this strategy for every single pair. No, that's why we're gonna go step by step about how to use this strategy and how to apply it. So let's get. Where is my bell? Let's get started, guys. Okay. Right, let's jump right into it. All righty then. So, uh, strategy. So, forex pairs that can be used for this, this strategy are very well. You can use it for other pairs as well. Okay, this is just it works with best with forex majors, but it works best with the forex these major pairs. Okay, uh, so euro USD, GBP USD, USD JPY, and USD CAD time frame. So use five minute or fifteen minute time frame. Uh, Bollinger band settings uh, 20.2. Uh, it is these are default settings. Okay, so you don't need to change anything if you use trading view. Uh, so e and the EMA, we're gonna use one exponential moving average line of uh, 200. As you know, guys, uh, two, uh, EMA 200 is one of the most important EMAs. And let's jump into the strategy. Okay. So, uh, so let's jump into. So, how, how when to buy and when to sell? So, first of all, before that, let's take a look at the naked, naked chart. So, this is the this is our naked chart, guys. Okay, and let me just put here the Canadian uh, Canadian dollar. But uh, so the strategy is as follows. Okay, so we need two things: a 200 exponential moving average line, which is this blue line, and Bollinger bands, which are these three lines, these three bands. Okay, how to put them on a chart? Again, this is free charting solution. You can use any charting solution of your choice. Click on indicators, search for moving uh, moving average, and uh, choose this one which says moving average exponential. And then for the Bollinger bands, same thing. Search for Bollinger, uh, Bollinger bands, and click on the Bollinger bands, and they will be automatically applied on your chart. Use the default settings for the Bollinger bands, like so. And uh, for the EMA, set it for 200. Okay, 200 moving average. Okay. And the strategy is as follows. So for the buy trade, we need to wait for the when the candles are closing or crossing uh, the bottom of the Bollinger bands. Okay, but at the same time, uh, the EMAs should show us that it's an uptrend. So the candle should be, uh, you know, above the EMA. Uh, so whenever, whenever we see the candlesticks, okay above the EMA, this is the EMA, okay, whenever we see candlesticks above the EMA, like, uh, duh, 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 like, like here, for example, this means that uh, this is an upward trend. Whenever we see candles below 200 EMA, from that point forward, we consider it as a downward trend. That's why sometimes people use 200 moving average for support and resistance. Uh, so let's just go back to the strategy, okay? 
So for the buy trade, you know, for the, the uh, this for the buy trade, okay. So for the buy trade, we look for the candlesticks to, to you know to touch the bottom of the Bollinger Bands, uh, like so. So for example, this is the bottom of the Bollinger Bands, okay. All the bottom part. So if the candlesticks are touching the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and uh, you know, at the same time, we need to make sure that uh, the candles are above the 200 EMA. So this is the 200 EMA. So the candles should be above. 200 EMA and at the same time it's touching the bottom of the Bollinger Band those two are indications that the price will go up okay let's just look at the, this is the empty okay empty chart so let's just look, look at, the, at the examples right here so uh, so uh, as you can see from this point up until this point so from here to here so all this time the candles are below EMA right so it means that it's a downward trend from here to here. So on it, if the candles are below the, if the candles are below 200 moving average and it's downward trend, then we'll need to wait for the candlesticks to touch the top of the Bollinger Bands, uh, and then we make sell trade. So the buy trade and the sell trade. So the candles crosses above the upper Bollinger Band, and the candlesticks are below the EMA, like here. Okay, so. Candles, uh, so uh, how many trend, how many sale opportunities we see here? The candles are below EMA and the candles are touching top of the Bollinger Band. <laughs> it happened here. Boom. EMA, you know, this was the, this was, this is amazing sale trade. Uh, boom, another one, amazing sale trade. Then again, the price went down and went up again. Oh yeah, it didn't, it didn't cross the top of the EMA, so. So even even if you if, even if you sold here, it would be it would be it would be great sell trade. But we would avoid this probably. Now next one. Again, the price is below 200 moving average. Okay, but the price touching top of the Bollinger Band. Boom, sell trade in the money. But there's no clear crossover here, although it was very close to it. So but always make sure that you test different scenarios. Okay, let's just continue on. Okay. So these are all for sale, but the, the interesting thing is this, that as you can see, that whenever the price touched the top of the Bollinger Band, it doesn't always, you know, uh, it, you know, goes back down. So as you can see, for example, in this example, the price went up, touched the Bollinger Band, and still the, pro but the price went up, up, up. You see, whenever you see these situations that the price is touching the Bollinger Band and the EMA, you know, is actually in the middle, you can see that the, that the cal candlesticks are actually on the EMA. If the candlesticks are on the EMA, it's better not to trade in those situations. It's too risky, you know, it's, we don't know, it's an upward market or downward trend, okay? So uh, the markets are just in between. So uh, we, don't, we avoid these situations. But the best way to, uh, to enter the trade is obviously whenever you see a reversal candle. So whenever, let's just go here. So whenever you see that the price is touching the, the Bollinger Band, don't simply place the trade immediately after you see the crossover. Wait for reversal candle. What's the, what's the reversal candle? Opposite candle. So if you see the price went up, up, up. So why would you place the sale trade from this can from the first candle that touched the top of the Bollinger Band? No. Wait for the first red candle like here, uh, and then place sale trade because that's gonna make you a much better profit margin. You see. So enter the sale trade from the reversal candle. Again, enter the sale trade from the reversal candle. This was a kind of a this was a little, little pull pullback. Again, enter the trade from the reversal candle. And let's take a look at uh, let's uh, some buy opportunities. Let's just go back randomly and let's look for the buy opportunities. So but for the buy, well, for the buy, we need to make sure that the candles are above EMA, like here, meaning that's an upward trend, right? So, <clears throat> and then we need to look at the bottom of the Bollinger Band being touched. Like we see here, boom, here, But here the price was, as you can see here, the price touched the Bollinger Band, but we didn't experience, you know, pullback. This was a this was a doji, okay. The price still went up a little bit and then went back down. So if we place the trade in here, let me just take a look. If we place the trade in here, so 20, uh, 20 pips, or oh, twenty pips is here. So you would be, so you would you would generate your profits in this in this area in this right here this area. 
Yeah, I always remember guys that you know when you whenever you place uh, whenever you place your take profit and stop loss levels So for the take profit should be about 20 to 50 pips if, Of course set it to 20 pips Monitor your trade and if you see that the trade is going your way if you see that the momentum is building Please watch my other videos about the momentum. So yes, keep that trade open Okay, and uh, change your take profit, you know to, so that you can increase higher profit margins but for the stop loss, of course, for the stop loss, make sure that if you are, uh, if you are placing, uh, if you are placing buy, uh, buy, uh, buy trade here, for example, of course, let me just put it. Of course, your stop loss for your buy trades should be little bit, uh, little bit above, sorry, a little bit below the next support. So where is next? Where is support? Support is here. Yellow yeah, can't really see. Support is can be clearly seen here. Right, so your stop loss should be where? For all your sale, for all your buy trades, your stop loss should be always a little bit below that support. So here is your stop loss and here is your target, okay? So guys, if you're not sure about your support and resistance, make sure you use Fibonacci. But when you put, when you put Fibonacci on the chart, don't, you know, don't get so confused if you, if you, and, and because uh, if you're a newbie trader and you put Fibonacci and you also have other indicators, you know, you, can, you don't freak out, okay? You don't, don't freak out. But Fibonacci will help you to identify these support resistance levels and these strong pivot points. So I hope you guys you enjoyed this strategy and enjoy this video. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, yeah, let me just look at this trade. So nice, I'm making 1,660 euro, okay, uh, from for this trade. Uh, this trade was mixed was a mixture of different, uh, a couple of different strategies. However, guys, if you want to copy my signals from our signals group, you're welcome to join my academy. Let's just take a look at the signals from today. Uh, okay, so these are the signals results from today, guys. Okay, uh, we did hit cut, cut, uh, two stop losses only. However, we made 100 pips, 100 pips, 50 pips, 50, oh, another 100 pips. So these are the actual results from a signals group, which, has, which are pretty good, actually. Uh, so the last trade was the AUDCHF. We made a comfortable 50 pips profit. Uh, yeah. So here we go guys, thank you for watching this video, please please like and subscribe guys, if you need help in trading, please email me at incommentorbox or at gmail.com And also guys, please visit my website andrewstradingchannel.com Get your free ebooks which can help you uh, in your trading journey, but always remember guys, there is no such thing as magic in trading, okay? Uh, also, uh, you know, uh, you're always welcome to you know to join my announcement telegram group. Yes, guys, but always remember, there's no magic in trading. Education and practice is the key for long-term success. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I love you all, and see you uh, next time, guys. Bye bye.